Hey everyone, Cassie Draws here and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be walking you through, teaching you, giving you tips and tricks on how to paint black fur in acrylic. This is a video that you all have requested quite a lot and eventually I will have a collection of fur tutorials, but for today I'm just going to be focusing on painting black fur in acrylic. Just a word before we get started, I do just want to give a big shout out to our channel sponsors, Chart Pack, Grumbacker, and Molotol. Thank you so much for supporting my work and supporting my channel here on YouTube and on Twitch. So let's go ahead and get started and I will see you at the end of the video. And P.S. maybe a little bit of bloopers at the end. All right, everyone, I am super excited for today's video. This is something that you all have been asking me a lot about, how I paint my fur in acrylic paint. And I just so happened to be working on a black Labrador pet portrait and thought to myself, this is a wonderful opportunity to share my tips and tricks on how I go about painting black fur. I know that a lot of artists struggle with how to get that realistic black fur look. So here we are, my window is open, my dog is beside me, so I apologize if there's any other noise other than myself. I am still a noob at editing so I don't know how to take that out but here we go and pray for me. So I have looked at the reference and this is how I start all of my paintings. I look at my reference and I break it down. I break it down into layers. There could be six layers, there could be eight, ten, twenty, depending on the subject, the density of the fur. So I've gone ahead and I've chosen this base layer color. It is a burnt umber color, a little bit of burnt sienna, and then I'm going in and adding black as well. So I'm kind of working between that original base brown and now the shadowed color for those very expressive Labrador eyebrows. So I'm going to have multiple colors on my palette that I'm working with, and I'm just going in and looking at my reference and breaking it down almost in blocks of color. I'm really focusing with these colors that I've created. And again, we're only using two to three colors. So try not to get overwhelmed in these first few sort of layers of your painting. You're just focusing on the areas of shadow and of light. So in this area here, the ear is actually covering a lot of the face. So I'm going ahead and I'm using this dark color and I'm just working in those shadows. I work from dark to light. Different artists may work a different method or a different way, but I work from shadow to light. So right now I'm working on those dark, dark areas. And now in the video, just by that forehead, that area is definitely not as dark in those base layers. So you're going to see a very different color, this kind of uh, cool gray sort of color. That's the darkest this middle forehead section will go. And then the side of the face is going to be almost Mars black. So my recommendation at this point in the painting, working these base layers, try not to use Mars Black right out of the tube. I know it is really, really enticing to just grab that tube and, you know, plop some paint on your palette and just go to town, but really try to look at what that color is on the subject. You know, that black fur, is it mixed with blue? Is it mixed with brown? And really just try to look at what light is doing to the fur itself. So here you can see it's very blue. Like in these first layers, I was like, oh my God, like looking back, holy p that's that, that's really blue and this dog is black like that is, it makes no sense but it comes together once you start really working in those layers so once we have our base layers put down onto the canvas and we're feeling good about where our lights and our shadows are i'm going to go ahead now and refine around the eye a little bit further so i work in almost like a, a puzzle piece type way where I start clicking in the painted parts together rather than doing the base layer of the entire subject. So I really hone in on the eyes and so you're going to see in this tutorial most of it is centered around getting the painting done around the eyes um, but some artists may decide to block in the entire subject, the entire portrait and then refine it further a little bit at a time. So however you work and whatever works best for you I hope this tutorial will translate into your style as well. Um, but basically what we're doing is I'm just going in and I'm using a dark color it's not quite Mars black it's that burnt umber mixed with black and I'm just going in and I'm starting to refine a little bit further now when painting fur it is super important to pay attention to the direction that the hair is going it is very easy and I am guilty as charged as 
painting the fur all in one direction at times because it looks nice. It looks symmetrical or it looks clean and neat. The reality is a lot of these dogs or any other subject with black fur, whether it's your own character or, or an animal in real life, they are running through the forest, the jungle, they're playing, they're having fun, they're dirty. So keep that in mind that that hair will not always be painted in one direction or pointing in any direction at all. They could have hair going all over the place. So you can see as I'm painting here, I'm using that dark color to fill in those shadows. I'm just going in and I'm following the hair direction on the reference and slowly starting to block that in. And even as I'm watching this back now with you, you can definitely see that even just using that dark shadowed color, you can really start to see this eye become a lot more realistic. And it's almost like it's no longer just sitting flat on the canvas. It's become Becoming a part of something and that's my biggest piece of advice is you know just take in those little details and and just work slowly and patiently through this part of the painting All right, so once you have your shadowed areas blocked in and the fur direction is the way that you want it, you can go ahead now and start adding in some highlights. So when you're highlighting, especially for an animal that has black fur, definitely being patient and waiting and doing multiple layers will help achieve the realistic look that you're looking for. So as you can see, while I'm painting, I'm doing very, very tiny, thin sort of paint strokes because the hair around the eye on an animal is usually a lot shorter and softer than it is on the rest of their body so I'm taking my time and I'm, I'm gradually building up those layers I had a habit when I first started to use acrylic that I would just dump a lot of highlight on at once I'd get super excited you know it's an exciting part of the painting you know that once it's done it's going to pop. It's going to look great. Um, and so I would get really excited. And then I would realize afterwards that I kind of painted over the shadowed area that I worked so hard to achieve. So that would be my biggest piece of advice for using uh, acrylic with, you know, painting fur. Take your time, build those layers and leave a little bit of shadow in that mid-tone in between your highlighted layers. So you can see where I'm working now. I'm selectively putting the fur just a few millimeters away from each other brush stroke or the sort of kind of rubbery skin area on the eye. I'm, I'm selectively leaving some space there. And that's going to achieve uh, almost like the follicle, like the hair is coming from that area and is and is reaching around or is sticking up. It kind of gives you the illusion that that hair is is moving and attached to something. So leave a little bit of space um, and just selectively highlight. And again, build up those layers. It's way easier to build and add than it is to subtract. There's been many times where I've had to go, oh, crap you know <laughs> I have to go back and I have to repaint this over with my mid-tone and then restart the process if it didn't quite turn out so you can see this eye slowly starting to come together again I'm adding some some extra white hairs as she was a senior citizen um, so she did have a lot of aging hair around her face um, but you can definitely see it's starting to come together and really start to highlight quite nicely all right, so moving away from the inner corner of the eye now and those light little hairs, I'm gonna go ahead now and start highlighting the rest of this black Labrador's head. So I find, in my experience, highlighting with a bluish gray color tends to create a more realistic highlight. I found in previous experience with my paintings, I used to just use tones of gray, white, and black, and it almost starts to look like a monochrome black and white type portrait. So by adding blue, it definitely adds that pop of color, and in my opinion, creates a more realistic highlight. So I'm following the direction of the hair, and I'm just going in and selectively adding in this blue-gray highlight. So as we're moving into new spots and new sections of this painting, you're going to go ahead and essentially rinse and repeat those steps that I first told you about in the beginning of the video. So we're going to essentially grab that base layer again, so your middle tone, start dropping that into the area, and then you're going to follow it up with 
putting in those shadows and then of course the highlights on top and that's essentially my method of how to paint fur and especially black fur or darker fur my biggest piece of advice again I feel like I've I've really talked about this quite a lot throughout this video but change those colors up add new colors that you usually would not think of using and especially blue and just go ahead and see if that works for you or works for the subject that you're painting and just rinse and repeat base shadow highlight and boom you are done so enjoy the rest of this video i hope you enjoy and again i'm so new to this so number one take it easy on me <laughs> number two please leave a comment down below if there was something in this video that stuck out to you and that was really really helpful or if you were like girl i tuned you out because you make no sense but the video was nice let me know too <laughs> so i appreciate all of your feedback and support so far please enjoy the rest of the video and remember you know, try, try blue. I think it will really help. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you so much. I'll see you at the end of this video. Let me know. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. Again, I wanted to keep it specifically to painting black fur today. I know a lot of artists struggle with getting that to look just right. So I didn't want to bore you with the entire process video and make this video 30 plus minutes long. So here is how Kaylee turned out. I am very happy with the end product and I am so glad that the clients are happy with it and she is on her way to her forever Home. Thank you so much again for watching. If you like my content here on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when I upload next. Or if you would like to watch me live stream my artwork, please visit me on twitch.tv slash Cassie Draws or visit my website CassieDraws.com for all of my information and of course my socials. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone! Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments the comments below. <laughs> Here is how Kaylee ended up turning up. Uh, that makes no sense. So she she turned up. She got, she got turned. Otherwise it would have been at least like a 30 minute video. Um, excuse me. What? I'm recording. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're in the bloopers now. Today, please make sure you hit that little bell button and the subscribe. Hit the subscribe! Just, just subscribe! <laughs> I know!